I'm Ace Adam Franco and I'm a property specialist in Ayala Community. So today I'd like to show you our Parklings North and South Tower um, projects here in One Bonifacio High Street. Okay, so when you enter the showroom of um, Parklings North Tower located in One Bonifacio High Street Mall in the third floor, um, you'll actually see the scale model of the entire Metro Manila. So um, before I show you the um, model unit of our three bedroom corner residence um, in Parklings North Tower, I'd like to first show you um, more details on the Parklings Estate and the other neighboring villages and communities around. Okay, right now, so as I've mentioned, we're in the Parklings North Tower showroom located on the third floor of One Bonifacio High Street Mall in BGC. But before I get into showing you the model unit itself, I'd want to get into the Parklings estate first. So this is actually a 35 hectare mixed use estate, which is thoughtfully master planned to maximize access to parks and open spaces, which would be a mere five minute walk for residents, office workers, and the public. So Parklinks will be accessible via C5, as you can see, among Rodriguez Avenue and Ortigas Avenue. Plans also include additional linkages to the estate's neighboring communities like Circular Verde and Metropoli. Um, Parklinks is also surrounded by very well-known um, neighborhoods and communities such as Valle Verde, White Plains, Corinthians, Green Meadows, and the like. So as you can see, Parklinks Estate is surrounded by such a good community. So I've taken the liberty to attach this um, vicinity map to get to give you guys a closer or clearer version of how it looks in Parklinks or the surrounding key communities around Parklinks. So we have St. Pia Chapel, we have Christ the King Parish, we have the Medical City, we have Camp at Vinaldo, we have Camp Grammy. So as you can see, those as mentioned are the different key institutions that are surrounding Parklinks. Now next, we have the different commercial areas that surround Parklinks. So we have Eastwood City, then we have Wilcon Depot, Ortigas East, Ayala Mall the 30th, Capital Commons, Estancia, Elsa Shangri-La, Essa Mega Mall, Robinson's Galleria, and Green Hill Shopping Center. So you will never really run out of places to shop in, to dine in, um, aside from that, we also have a mall directly um, linked to the Park Links uh, North and South Tower, so you wouldn't really have to go far as well to different commercial areas. Next, we have the different um, major schools and universities, um, not really surrounding Park Links, but close to Park Links. So you have um, Ateneo, UP de Leman, Miriam, uh, down to BGC schools, and then you have St. Paul, you have um, UANP, Lourdes School, St. Pedro, and many more. Lastly, here, as mentioned, here are there a lot of residen residential villages and um, buildings that surround park links, which are of very high value. I'll show you in the next slide, but we have um, Circuit Verde, we have Villares, we have Sirius, um, we have the Grove, we have Valle Verde, and the like. So as you can see in this next slide, um, this just goes to show the price appreciation, or at, well, not the price appreciation, but the price per square um, for each of these neighboring communities and residential buildings. So as you can see, living in Parklinks um, doesn't just assure you the safety and the kind of community you'll be having, but it'll also assure you that the value will always um, appreciate over time. Okay, so here, as you can see, I'm showing you how Parklings North and South Tower would look. Um, this, this one is located in the parcel of Quezon City, which is along C5. Um, what I'm also trying to show you is that there will be a five-story premium lifestyle mall, which will open around 2024. And it is around 52,000 square meters large or um, with gross land area. And then we have about 50% food and 50% non-food of merchant mix, which will also have a sports hub, an office, and an ent entertainment space. Okay, so now that we're done discussing the different um, key institutions, commercial areas, um, universities around um, park links, I want to get into Parklinks estate itself and the estate components. So 
Um, I'm not sure if I've mentioned, but we have at least five park systems or more around the estate, which is what makes it or which is why we envision it to be the greenest urban estate in the metro. So um, for the parks and open spaces, we have the eco forest surrounding the entire estate. We, well, we also have the Marikina River surrounding the entire estate. And then we have eco park. We have eco center garden, eco center lawn, eco center avenue. And then closer to Park Links itself, we have South Eco Terrace, North Eco Terrace, and we also have the Eco Esplanade. So these are the different parks and open spaces that will be accessible to those who live inside Park Links. Okay, so right now what I'm showing you is a bigger scale model of Park Links. Um, as you can see, this is the five-story premium mall, which is directly connected to Park Links North Tower and South Tower. So over here is actually the five hectare um, land um, located in the Quezon City side. Um, over here as well, of course, are units facing the west. So those units facing the west, of course, have a view of the Park Links Mall. It has a view of Green Meadows, San Juan, and Ortega skyline. Now, what I'm showing you right now are um, the motor courts and the, and the um, areas that are accessible to those who want to park um, in the mall. So it's actually podium parking and then those who need to park in their residential parking spaces on the left. Um, next, I want to show you that as you go straight Parklings Avenue and when you cross this iconic um, Parklings Bridge, which is 110 meters long, um, you'll end up in the, well, facing the east views of the building. So, this is, so any, any unit that you get here, has views of um, Parklings Estate, Marikina River, and Antipolo Mountain Ranges. Um, what's important to note is that, well, as you can see in our scale model, that the Marikina River is actually blue. It's because we envision it to be this way and stay this way. At the moment, if you do visit um, Parklings Estate, you'll see that um, we are currently judging this and will continue to, to judge this and keep it off standard um, every how many months so that those dining in the um, dining or um, dining or cafe shops down below um, will have a beautiful view, will not have any foul smell as they dine, and um, will really feel that, um, that, that green urban estate that we promised to our um, residents living in Park Links. So before I get into the building details of Park Links North or South Tower, um, I wanna show you or give you a closer look on this iconic Park Links Bridge, which connects both parcels of land, which is the Quezon City side over there, and then the Pasig City side over here. So what I'm showing right now is Park Links North and South Tower. So both um, towers are actually basically just mirror versions of each other. Um, the only difference would be just very little. So for the South Tower, you have 49 units per floor, which is this tower. And then the, the other tower, the North Tower, you have 48 units per floor. And then um, unit types for the South Tower is one to three bedrooms. Meanwhile, for the North Tower, it's one to four bedrooms. So as you can see, this is a 55 floor um, residential building, which is high end, high rise and low density. Over here is the 10th floor, which is the amenity deck. So you have your pool complex, you have um, your outdoor lounges, your lawns, your fitness center, um, ch a children's play areas, a shared, a shared basketball court, um, and many more. So over here, yes, that's, these are the other amenities. So over here on the 45th floor, you have your Horizon Terrace, which is a double volume lounge that allows its residents to enjoy panoramic views of the estate. Um, and of course, the Antipolo Mountain Ranges in the east. Over here is the podium parking. And then down below is the well, Esplanade Hall and the different dining um, shops that, uh, different dining options that you can also um, just lounge in and have a cup of coffee in. Okay, so getting into more detail, um, I'd like to show you the different materials that Ayala Tamir puts into the making of the unit. So what set them apart from different developers is that they use high-end or high-grade materials to finish up their units. So to be specific here in Parkland's North Tower, um, we have different materials such as porcelain tiles used in the balcony floor, which is this one. And then we also use it in the living, dining, kitchen, and utility floors. 
Um, we also use it in the master and secondary toilet and bathrooms and shower area floors. And then we also have um, natural stone. So the natural stone is this one over here. Um, we use that in the master and toilet and baths, um, counter tops, and powder rooms, thresholds as well. And then lastly, um, we also have engineered wood used in the master and secondary bedroom floor. So what this engineered wood um, uh, really is about is that um, over the years, um, it doesn't deteriorate as compared to what other developers use. Okay, so right now we're actually walking into the balcony of our showroom. It's a three bedroom corner residence unit that's about 198 square meters big. Um, but it's actually pretty small for a three bedroom. Um, we have bigger sizes that range up to 306 square meters. So right now what you're looking at is the west side um, of this unit. Uh, you'll have different views as I mentioned. If you're located in the west side, you have views of Green Meadows Village, um, the Ortega skyline, San Juan um, area, and the like. So let me now take you into a more detailed tour of how our three-bedroom um, actually looks like when it's fully furnished. So this is actually how it looks like. It's very spacious. It's very beautiful. So basically, um, this is how the unit would look if it was turned over to you, of course, except um, certain furnitures. So just try to imagine if you were to turn the unit upside down, anything that doesn't fall um, actually comes with it and is given to you. So for instance, you have um, the air cons, they're actually given to you already. Um, well, the kitchen island, of course, um, and then you have other fixtures as well that are given to you. So um, to get into more detail, I'd like to show you each bedroom, each um, one, oh, each first, second, and third bedroom, powder room, utility room, and more. So let's get into it.